Okay guys, for this art project you're going to go to desmos.com, that's D-E-S-M-O-S.com, and click on start graphing. Now this video I made shows me using it on my MacBook, so it will be just a little bit different than when you use it on your iPad, but not too much. So I just typed in the equation right there, and I made a couple of changes so you can see the differences. And then you go back over and you hit the division button, and that's what gets you the fraction to make it an ellipse or a hyperbola. For this project you're going to make some kind of artistic image using the different conic sections. Um, I have a different file that tells you all the requirements like how many equations you're going to have to use and the colors and the lines. This part right here is the keyboard. You'll see that on the iPad a little more. Um, about where the mouse is right there with the double arrows, not moved. Um, that's going to close it so you only see the image and not the equations. That right there helps you change if it's a dotted line or change the color and so you can get a better artistic image that way. Um, with these, I want to make sure that to tell you that you don't have to do just a face. I know those are the examples I give, but you can have, in the past I've had people do bugs or Mickey Mouse or a lot more. Be creative. Um, it is your choice. It just has to be some sort of actual thing and not just a bunch of random curves. So your TI Inspire app will do this, but that's actually really pretty new. It didn't used to do that, and um, the Desmos is still a little more user-friendly, so that's why we're doing it on that. And don't go just based on what I did, and they're just a few examples, so make sure you look at the requirements page. Okay, here you go. Have fun, good luck, and let me know if you have any questions.